Uh, and we went through a period of time, particularly in the 80s and 90s, when uh, there were some, um, we went through some rough economic times as a country, through uh, a lot of um, restructuring in our economy. And unfortunately at that time, um, infrastructure was perceived to be just another thing you spend money on as a government. And it was an easy source to cut um, because it didn't impact uh, what they perceived to be people's lives. You know, cert, um, you know, faced with other expenditure cut options. That was, seemed to be the, the easier one to do. And frankly, that's what has contributed to our overall infrastructure deficit in Canada, that uh, we forego we, uh, these needed investments at a time when we should have been investing in infrastructure. Uh, and I think now it's come home to roost a bit that we realized that, that was a mistake, that um, you know, you can walk and chew gum at the same time, that you need to, to uh, ensure that you're investing in the supporting infrastructure to your economy. All governments within Canada at all levels now, I, I believe, understand the importance of the quality of infrastructure to um, Canada's overall competitiveness, its overall productivity, uh, the prosperity of Canadians, our standard of living, etc. Um, no longer do you hear uh, investment in infrastructure, you know, uh, uh, defined as simply an expenditure. It's an investment. It's got a, re a return that's coming. Uh, I, I think that most politicians today know that uh, an infrastructure deficit can be almost as devastating on the Canadian economy as a fiscal deficit can be. It's so important to have a plan. If you've got a plan, at least if you do have hiccups that come up, if there are situations in which you know we have to scale back, for example, on our particular uh, commitment to infrastructure this year because of the but we're going to make it up, and here's how we're going to make it up, and we have a plan. Uh, much easier to deal with um, uh, the longer term in those circumstances. Also, if you are looking to make the private sector an option for funding infrastructure, um, one way to get the, the um, uh, private sector involved is to make long-term commitments from government, to be able to say, we're going to be here for the, uh, you know, for the long term. Much easier to get um, uh, private uh, sector dollars leveraged when government makes that commitment um, over a long period of time. Also easier for junior levels of government, which many, especially at the municipal level, have the major custodial ship for, um, much easier for them to do their planning when they know that senior levels of government, provincial or federal, uh, have made these long-term commitments, have a plan. Mm -hmm.